Wonderful. Wow. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we will make a full teardown on this old vintage Sony thing. It is a level tracer and built for telephone communication systems. What it does is, yeah, you can compare the signal between the input and the output. The bandwidth is from 200 Hz to 4 kHz. Let's have a look inside. Sorry for my hair, but it's so cold. I'm running around with this, what's the English term? And of course, my hair is completely messed up. The reason why I do a tear round on this one is I've tried to sell it on eBay for a long time. Yeah, there were some people that were interested, but nobody purchased. And yeah, it's, it's lying around. I need the space. If I don't get a minimum amount of money, it does not pay to sell it on eBay. Oh, the unit is still on. We might... Disconnected from the mains. Yeah, that's a good idea. Wow. Here's the large CRT. I will show you every single card. Uh, I will show you the high voltage power supply. This will be very interesting. Uh, battery compartment and lots more stuff. Whenever you are doing a teardown of such an old unit and you want to sell the parts, Make sure you make photos of the CRT in a working condition. This is very important. Where is my camera? I'm still using this old, old Sony camera. So once again, disconnect the mains power. I don't have the manual, I'm sorry. So I can't tell you the exact details about this unit. Yeah, um, this channel really needs any kind of support, to be honest. The best support, if you don't want to spend any money, is put the thumbs up. This really helps. Ooh, what's that? That's weird. Usually... These units are supplied with an accessories kit. Something to pull out the cards. I don't see it at the moment. Ah, isn't it beautiful? Vintage electronics. What's this op amp? I have no idea. But I'm sure it's a uh, it's of very high quality. Nice, beautiful. Wow, these are ceramic. Wow, they have spared no expense, and it's silver plated here. Talking about the slider. That's nice. 330 nanofarads. 1977. Nice. Silver bladed connectors. A relay. Oh, here are more relays. Wow. Oh, wow. Amazing. They are not worth any penny nowadays because they are used. I tried to sell uh, salvaged relays, but yeah, it doesn't pay. Mm. Wow. Great. 
So this is a third party component, but Siemens has at their own additional item number and one national relay. National Panasonic, I guess. Next one. Very nice caps. GPF series Siemens. Again, 19. 77 and again these weird op amps these caps are called styroflex excellent quality very high q factor siemens mkl metallized paper amazing caps Really, they are sealed and are of exceptional quality. And another one. So yeah, these are quite the same. This, by the looks of it, is an amp class B, I guess, using the 2N2219 a and another card still fine the shielding is amazing great stuff the high voltage power supply. Now I have to be careful. Probably still high voltage inside. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Nice. Hmm. Lovely. Great. The other reason why I'm uh, doing this tear down is to show it to you. It's somehow educational and also, uh, yeah, fun to watch, I guess. I hope. Yet another different uh, reason why I do this tear down is I have sold this enclosure as a whole but without all the internals you think i'm crazy but i have sold the empty enclosure for 65 euro including shipping you may think wow that's that's unfair there was the opportunity to buy the complete uh, unit for i don't remember the last price on ebay nobody was interested what makes this enclosure so expensive is the the all the time and effort in fact i don't make any money uh, with this empty enclosure for 65 euro including shipping that's a given fact here's the wonderful Mu metal shielding. This is the motherboard of some sort. This one too. And all the input attenuators. Wow, the wire harness. Wonderful. If you've seen my older videos, uh, <laughs> I've, I've said the German term in English words. So the German term is Kabelbaum. <laughs> and <laughs> I've said cable tree. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is embarrassing. But I'm working on my English and I hope it's improving. So, yeah, wire harness is the correct term. This is weird. Hmm. Why? Probably this section was wired up 
and completed by a different team than this section and this one too. When they have finished all three parts, they were merged together. Long life caps, Siemens, amazing quality. <laughs> Made in Austria. That's interesting. And a very odd T03 transistor model ESM2635 built in October or week 1077. Look, it's socketed. That's neat. Nice. Oh, wow. I have to hurry up. So, I will do a complete teardown now. Unscrewing all things. That's not too exciting. Wait a second and I will show you these parts here. Man, man, man. Here it is. That's typically Siemens. I like it. I don't know. And this is the thing to pull out the cards. You get the idea. And lots of lamps, fuses, and so on. Oh, this was a lot of work. Somehow oddly satisfying. These are all the things that I have removed from the faceplate. Very nice switches, attenuators. I don't know this brand. What is it? Philips now. But the switch is definitely Siemens. This is a typical Siemens switch. An awesome signal transformer. Probably for input or output. Usually they are very high quality. Siemens MKL capacitor. Wonderful caps. The, this one is built 1977. Input and output connectors. Siemens so called TF stecker. More wonderful switches and attenuators. Beautiful wire harness. Mm. Silver plated contacts. 
another big signal transformer. I'm not sure if it was on the input or on the output. And look what happened to this resistor here. Awesome potentiometer. Ceramic type. This one is probably for balancing this transformer. A precision potentiometer built by Megatron type RP11 10K. And this is probably the linearity tolerance of 0.2%. Oh, this is surprising. Come from Japan. Wow. Nice build quality. I won't open it up because it is uh, sealed, sure enough, and I want to, I don't want to destroy it. Six millimeter shaft. More beautiful switches built by Siemens. Gold plated contacts. Wonderful! Wow. Hmm. Wonderful. This is amazing. I love this type of stuff. And that's it. I hope you liked this video. If yes, pull it a thumbs up. And see you again soon. Bye. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. Great thanks to my very first supporter ever, Mark from Dexter's Lab. He has a very exciting channel. Check it out. Also, great thanks to Steve White. He's a very generous guy. Thank you so much.